that a future has to be cultivated. And we know that there are so many important things that we've got to teach the young people, such as, and Reggie and I have had this conversation, okay, such as getting away from electronics all the time, looking each other eye to eye, having a real conversation. And that's how you get to know people, okay? And Reggie McKay, we're so glad to be a crowd. You're so wonderful. And when she walks in the building, you just go, wow, there's so much love there in that person. And um, we, we are so thrilled to give her the Volunteer of the Year Award, which I left in the office, by the way. <laughs> so if somebody wants to go get it for me, that would be great. Um, but anyway, um, we have the Westchester Friends School represented tonight as well, because that's where Reggie educates. Okay? <laughs> Westchester Friends School microphone. I think that would be good. It'd be good. Oh, thank you. Here it is. Thank you, Karen. The lovely Karen Hockenberry. Thank you. This is Reggie's. Okay, I'm going to hold it over here. I'm going to put it on the floor. We're on this wonderful shelf, the Sweet and Todd shelf. Okay, go ahead. Hi, I'm Brian Fahey. I'm the head of school at Westchester Friends. And um, I'm happy that so many people came out to uh, celebrate Reggie tonight. I'm a little disappointed at Roger because last night we were on the phone and he told me he was wearing a black jacket, gray slacks. <laughs> Surprise! I'll do the best I can. Uh, and I'm just glad that Reggie's wearing a red dress because I saw her a few days ago and I said, so Reggie, y'all set? Saturday night? And she said, well, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. You saw the marquee with your name on it, right? Yes. And Reggie said, um, I didn't get any sleep last night because I had a bad dream. And I said, really? What was that all about? She said, well, I went to bed, I started thinking about Saturday night, and, and then I had this dream that I was trying to get ready and couldn't find my outfit, and I showed up in jeans and red sneakers. <laughs> she did much better. Uh, I just want to say that, that Reggie does such an amazing job, not only in music class, but in identifying kids who show a little bit of interest and, and maybe a little bit of talent and who might want another opportunity. And then she finds a way for them to share what they have on stage. And, um, and if you're a parent of one of, those child, of one of those children, you may have heard from Reggie, and she may have said to you, um, now here's what you have to do right now. And uh, you know, I talked to your son, and he said he's not going to that audition. We need to talk about that. <laughs> and, um, and, if, and if your answer was, you know, Reggie, I'm so busy, and that audition's at 8 a.m., and I don't know if I can do it. Reggie would say, well, I'll take him. And, and so Reggie does things like that all the time, but not only just for the kids who are interested in theater, but if there's anyone at school who has a need and Reggie finds out about it, she makes sure that the need is filled. And, and that's just the kind of person she is. Um, another day this week, I saw her, and I said, Reggie, how's it going? And she said, good things keep happening. And, and I thought to myself, you know, when your heart's that big... Wait a minute. You auditioned to be one of the munchkins, didn't you? Well, you made it. You're going to be a wizard. <laughs>
proud to present Reggie McCabe with the 2018 Volunteer of the Year Award. Because, as Brian was saying, she does seek out children, young people, who may not otherwise have an opportunity. She leads them to us here at the Media Theater. She gets them on the stage. She gets them in our camps. She also brings hundreds of people to see the shows throughout the year. Through her school, she brings school groups and volunteers to organize all of that. She volunteers to bring school group from what's the other school, Lionville. She brings people from there. And she puts her heart and soul into helping us get the word out about our educational programs in particular, but also about all of our shows. And this is a true volunteer. And we really thank you. This is yours. For you and Patrick Ward, where's Patrick Ward? Somebody get Patrick out of the office. If Karen's available, go grab him. Come on up, Sonny. Why are we selecting the public school and the Paul Lawrence Dunbar? 
because that's the school that Regina went to, and we're going to have them on an annual basis to inspire and motivate those young people.